Hello everyone and welcome to Cat FM, the station that you won't find on your radio. I am your host Cat and joining me today is Banana Bread Soggy King. Say yep, hello. that's me. Woohoo! Uh, yeah. So welcome to the show. This is your first time on the show as a guest. Yeah. So this that... is so cool. You yes. know, I've been dreaming of going on the show for so long. <laughs> Finally, your dreams have come true. Yep. One of our one of our good good watchers always watching the show. One of our uh, one of our uh, big. Oh my gosh, I always forget words. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, one of our biggest fans. Yes. Got the biggest fan role in the Discord. You and Taco both have that role. But she's been absent. Yeah. So that's not good. She's uh -oh. not she's not got the role. So sad. So today I will be trying to play Euro Truck Simulator. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I tried I played a little bit of it just before earlier just to the tutorial and I was just awful. I keep crashing into things, keep getting stuck. I think my truck got jammed on like something before I turned it off. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna be a real trucker anyway, so what does it matter? Hopefully. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever be a Wait. Oh no, I can hear people calling you. They're like, hey, it's dinner time. No, it's probably midnight over there. Um, yeah. I'm just joining the chat so I can see if people are saying things to us. Yeah. I have, like, the chat and Discord open. It's nice. super epic. Homer's here. Yo. He's in chat. Homer? Yeah. That's crazy. Homer. Welcome, that's Homer. Absolute, that's absolutely mad. Homer's the ultimate mad lad. Chad mad lad joining us for a stream. He joined us the last few times, he just didn't stay for very long each time. So maybe he'll stay for longer. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Ooh. Stay longer, Homer. Um, also, during this podcast, I've got the giveaway. There was like 16 games to give away, and only like 8 people actually reacted. So everyone's getting a game. Everyone who no. reacted will get a game. So I will announce those people. You are one of them because you reacted. Oh so. my god. So I've, I'm going to get like a random number generator from 1 to 16 and I'm just going to go through each person and generate a random number on them and give them whatever game That's the number absolutely lands on. crazy. So that'd be fun. So I'll do that and I might do a second one for the last eight games. Maybe if we get more interest in it. I'll hold on to that. Wait, is anyone talking in stream chat? No one yet. Okay. I can see Homer there, and that's it. He's not. He's Wait, not how do you know Homer's there? Because I got a thing called Chatty, which is like a little. It's a little program that you can see all of your viewers. And, and okay, the that's epic. Yeah. That's epic. Yeah, I just came across it one day. So it's a little chat box program. Wow. So you, you can do it for any. As long as you put in the username, you can even look at other. Oh, and Groot's here. Oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding me. He said epic That's, sauce. This is absolutely crazy. Yes. I can't believe Groot was like, oh my gosh, Groot, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> oh. Tactical Groot. I've been... Thanks for joining. So yes, yeah, so you can even join, you can even go onto other people's um, streams and look at their chats as well with the same. As, oh, long as, wow. you, as long as you put in the username, then you join their chat and you can see... Who, who's all in their chat as well? All the users. It's kind of cool. That's crazy epic. Yeah, so anyone who live streams, download Chatty, and then you can see exactly who's in your chat. We've got someone who's called there? Radish02. Whoever that person is, uh, uh, you're very cool. Uh, Groot says, yeah, I thought it was going to be at 2 EST, so I'm here before sleep. Um, okay, I think I started a little earlier then. Then I was gonna, but that's alright. It's just gonna so, be. So you know. Yes. You know, like when you really think about it, I've probably seen Groot in real life, and I just haven't known it. Maybe you guys are in the same like town. Yeah, we're in the same area. Wow, 
Maybe. It's absolutely a, funky. There is a possibility. That, it really is. That uh, you've gone past each other and not known. Oh, that's weird to think about. Very weird. Though I'm, I'm assuming it's quite a big place. Though a lot of people in your in your area. Oh uh, yeah, in Toronto, there's a lot of people. Oh yeah, so you might have also never gone past each other. There's also that chance. Oh, that's a very sad chance. But there is also a chance that you could have. So. There's also a chance that we're the same person. Whoa. Ooh. Crazy. All right, I'm gonna jump onto the game screen. I forgot to put the game window, so I'm quickly gonna add that now. I just realized. So I need to add source. I'm playing this game called Ball Blast on my phone. And it's making me mad. So I'm just gonna watch you play. Okay. I don't know why it's got this. Um. I don't know why it's got the chat window up. I can see our our names at the top. Oh well, I guess. Oh. Yeah, you see it. Yeah, yeah, I see that. It's got our like Discord overlay for some reason. I don't know why it's doing that. That's very emotional. I'm gonna cry. Yeah, I know, right? I don't want to keep aspect ratio because I want to adjust it. Nope. I don't want to do that. I'm gonna adjust the size. Nope. Why are you doing this? Oh my you could turn it off in Discord, I think. Uh, maybe that will do it. Groot is scientist. Groot is scientist. No, I don't know. Groot is a funny buddy. You just people just see our Discord names and stuff as well. Our uh, Discord like orb glowing. Uh, yeah. Mm. I want to keep aspect ratio. Why is it doing this? Did I not hit apply or something? if I just hit enter. Alright, let's try again. No, it's not. It's fine, I'll just keep the window. Does it look fine? Uh, Does it look fine? Oh, it looks, okay it looks fine to me. There's like mm -hmm. a black bar around it, but that should be good. Yeah. Uh, what if I click off enhance resize? Is that? No. It's being weird. It's fine. Mm. Usually it lets me, I can like adjust the size without it um, stretching the whole thing like that. That's oh, yeah? okay. Yeah, that's okay. All right. I'll just minimize Discord and bring up the game. Okay, that's yeah. still really loud in my ears. So I'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit. Open. Turn down Euro Truck Simulator. All right. Alrighty. Just uh, I don't want to update. Disable. All right. So I've I made a trucker earlier. This is Infamous Cat. He's a newbie, level zero, driven 14 kilometers. Um, what was his? The company was called N Not Drug Dealers Incorporated. <laughs> so that's that's my company. Yeah. This is not. I Euro truck. It's, this is not Drug Dealers Incorporated. Alright. Alrighty. So what's happening in the, in the big old world today? I was trying to look up some gaming news. It's apparently a guy... Alright. Apparently a guy in the United States was trying to sue for being muted in a game, he said it was against his constitutional rights. He was that's... being muted in a game? Yeah. Oh, this is where I got stuck. It's still... Ah, oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, he got muted in a game. And he, yeah. he was trying to sue to... Apparently it was violating his freedom of speech. And then the Supreme Court's were like, yeah, no, that doesn't... No. It doesn't violate... I mean... That doesn't make any sense, because yeah. it's just a game. Yeah. So he was muted in a game, probably for being an asshole. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm stuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think, like, it's hosted by, like, a game company or server, so... Yeah, yeah. So the thing was, like, if it's, like, a government trying to silence you or something, that goes against your rights. But because it's a private... Um, so... Yo, okay, one second. Big Bread's being cursed. Mm. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, good night. I love you. Um, yeah, I love you too. Alright. See ya. Go to bed soon. Aight, okay. Okay, hi big bird. <laughs> Yo, okay, th- I'm sorry, this podcast is gonna be very chaotic. It's okay. I'm so stuck. <laughs> oh no. I'm not much of a truck driver. Uh, I'm gonna crash. No, uh, what's, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> Shoot. I'm trying to. Okay, you got this. You got this. I'm stuck in this driveway. <laughs> no, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This oh my is gosh. absolute like madness. I'm gonna bring up my little chat box because I can't see. Ah. I can't see the chat. Okay, wait. So. You got copy strike for using your own song on YouTube. Yeah, so as I was talking about earlier, I used Story. I think it was Story. Yeah. No, it was Forever. I used Forever in a podcast because it was the release of the song. Right. And I thought, me and Chloe thought, it'd be cool to like play the song in the intro. Mm. And uh, so I uploaded the video to YouTube afterwards. Oh my yeah. gosh, I'm so stuck. And um, co- YouTube copyright struck it. They're like, you know, this yeah. is copyright violation. Mm-hmm. That's not very good because, like, it's they're they're using like machine learning, and they're like, yeah, yeah, the, the machines like they just hear the song and they're like, oh, oh well, yeah, time to get a strike. Yeah, uh, I'm so stuck. Oh so, god! Oh my gosh! See, like, it's glitching out. I'm just gonna like try again. I'm gonna drive out and then drive back in. <laughs> so Hi. yeah, I'm gonna do a big U-turn. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Uh, I'm trying to do a U-turn. I'm gonna get stuck again, aren't I? No, oh, don't do it. Don't nice. Do it. Yeah. Oh shoot. Okay, let's go. Let's so go. yeah, so I went to appeal, and um, mm-hmm. the YouTube powers that be were like, nope. Appeal denied. I'm like, bro, my guitarist gave me permission. He said, yeah, tell them, tell them I give you permission because he's technically the copyright holder. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Yeah, it's. I think it's because like YouTube is just trying to be like yeah. cost effective or just a more rude way of saying it. Yeah. They're just trying to be cheap and like they're using robots and then. It's only if you have like a significant amount of subscribers. Yeah, that will help you out. I think GLR, uh, he had the same problem. Yeah, it was like, it was Shueisha trying to like claim, money claim his video. Yeah, and he couldn't make a proper appeal until he was at 100,000. Yeah. Because YouTube only gives like support and service to people with a lot of subscribers. Because those are actually like the people who bring in money and stuff, so. So, I got appeal denied. Oh my gosh. This is just horrible. So I got appeal denied by YouTube, even though I was given, Uh I was authorized permission to use the track. It was really dumb. Yeah. I can't get this goddamn trailer (laughs) into the spot. This is a pro moment. Come on. When I thought of truck simulator, I thought of like a truck, like driving over fences and like driving, like crashing into other cars. Oh my I don't gosh. know why that's what came to my mind. Oh my gosh, Almost why? Almost like a. This is GTA. just horrible. I mean. Bro. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Go. No, shoot. Ooh. Ah! Will, will Cat <laughs> be able to do it? No. This, this is really hard, like, reversing with a trailer, because the trailer goes the reverse way that you're steering. So it goes against, like, all intuition Aww. of, like, which, where you should steer. Man, I know nothing about vehicles at all. Ah. Best I can do is ride a bike. Ah. I hate this so much. Ooh. Friends, this is gonna... <laughs> what if I can it can it just let me stop here, please? A rectangular like, arrow will like be highlighted driving? on the ground. Did I did I do it? Skip. Confirm. I don't care. Good. 
That's all I had to do. Nice. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that was fun. Euro Truck Simulator 2. So, so yeah, I don't know how loud I am, oh. viewers. If I'm too loud, let me know. I'm kind of squinting at my uh, computer. This is my headquarters. Pretty basic garage. So this is totally not Drug Dealers Incorporated. Mm -hmm. Nice. Alright, I want to change my truck. I wanted to do this earlier, but... I saw your cursed avatar to the top right. <laughs> That's my guy. I was He's like, like, he looks... half bald. I was like, he looks so sketchy. That's why I call it Totally Not Drug Dealers Incorporated. Right. <laughs> I got the Australian skin pack, so I wanted to change it to, like, an Aussie truck. Oh my gosh. But it won't we let me equip it. got kangaroos. Can I... Why won't I... Won't let me equip the skin? What? Yeah. I saw it. So, I'll I'm go... going back. Yeah. Experiment with... Maybe not. Maybe if I go... Like... Yeah, I want to change the... Mm. It was just like right there. Yeah, I don't know what else to... Truck upgrades? I'll pick your next job. No, I want to... Vehicle browser, right. Experiment with various truck configurations? But why won't it let me save though? Uh, it just says leave, it has no like save option. So I'll like... Well, maybe you were supposed to click on the other one, but I don't know. Yeah, I've got it like... See, it's checked and everything. And then... So I'll check. It should be unlocked. And then I can't do anything else. If I hit enter, nothing happens. If I hit Not leave... If I hit leave, leave, then nothing else happens. Like it won't Wait, save. Click leave. It will just maybe... go. It will go back to the yellow. Yeah. What the no, fuck? go to go to where it said the experiment thing. Yeah, this this here. Experiment with truck. Yeah, with truck configuration. So those trailers, those are different vehicles. So. Yeah. That's odd. This should just um, change the color of my my truck cab. I want to equip the the Australian flag one because it's Australia Day. It is? It is, yeah. Happy Australia Day, everyone. It's also... Um, tomorrow is Auckland Auckland anniversary, which is where I live, so I've got the day off tomorrow as well. Oh wow, that's great. So I've got a three day weekend. Also... It's epic. Yeah, there's nothing else I can do. Ooh, so today's Sunday for you then. Yeah. Well, today's Sunday for me, but it still feels like a Saturday. Nice. Cause it's like the whole midnight thing. Alright, what if I change my truck design? Why is it now equipping that? I don't understand what's going on. What's going on? I think, I think you have to be a higher level. Now uh, some of them let me, but this one, it doesn't have a level cap. It should just, cause it was a DLC. Try, maybe try equipping another one. A different skin. I'll try Sydney yeah. Surfer. No, see, it went back to the same truck. Bruh. I don't understand. That's, that's no good. Truck dealers. Visit selected dealer. Yes. So in all these, no. like, car and vehicle games, Screw. they use actual, like, car companies, like Ford, Honda, yeah. Hyundai. So it's... How do they get the, like... They must have the rights or something. Let's do another quick job. So it's changed the the truck. It's changed the cab, but like the the shape of it was the one I picked earlier. But it hasn't changed the paint job. This is so dumb. Bro, that's that's not good. All right, what what do we want to do? Let's uh, what job do we want to do? Let's do the one that gets you the most money. All right. That's what I would say. Price. Price per distance? Hmm. What's this one? This is only a thousand euros, so I want to do the other one. So this is the highest one. From Liverpool to Sheffield. Three, 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 three. Yeah. Now I want to go to Carlisle. Liverpool to Carlisle. Because Liverpool to Sheffield is such a short distance. We want to do a good drive. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Select. Nice. 
Oh, the loading away. screen. Right. Boom, boom. Um, so what else? So that person who tried to file a lawsuit on mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> about about being muted, they also tried to file a class action lawsuit against Tinder. <laughs> against Tinder? Yeah. Why? Because so, apparently Tinder's a scam for like the the um the paid thing. They're like, oh, it's it's fifteen dollars a month. And we, we're getting scammed because there's not real women, it's just robots. So they think that oh, yeah? Tinder Plus is a scam because they think there's no real woman. It's just all bots. Huh. Yeah. So this person's obviously crazy. <laughs> oh, how? They tried to sue for being muted in a video game, even though it doesn't violate the constitutional rights. Yeah. Because they're probably being an asshole. And then they tried to sue Tinder, a class action lawsuit, because apparently Tinder's fake and they're being scammed. In reality, he probably is, he's probably talking to the woman after he matches with them and then they realize how much of an asshole he is <laughs> and don't talk to him. It's probably what it is. <laughs> he matches with someone, instantly talks about how they like did a lawsuit and then the person, getting muted. And then the person unmatches and they're like, oh, the, Tinder's just full of bots. God, I'm getting scammed. Yet. I know. I doubt it. I doubt it, bro. You're probably just a dickhead and no one wants to talk to you. That's why you're getting muted in video games and people are unmatching you on Tinder. <laughs> Whee! Whoop! Oof! Shit! I crashed. <laughs> My very first thing I did right in this game earlier, when I... Uh-oh. Okay. Um, viewers, bananas, Mike went mute. So I'll tell you guys what I did, viewers. So, the very first thing I did when I jumped in this game was crash into a police car. <laughs> I like, hello, hello, hello. Hello. I return. You return. I return. So I was telling the story. Okay, so, uh, yeah, story time. So I was saying, like, the very first thing I did in this game when I started up, and it's like, drive out and go deliver, the very first thing I did was crash into the side of a police car. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I was like, well this is off to a great start. So mm. that was that was fun. That's one way to start a game. Yeah. I thought like I'd get in trouble, but it's not like Great Theft Auto. Basically, if you crash into anything you like lose some of the money that you you'd get at the end of the run, but that's it. Yeah. Like you get a money taken off of damages and stuff like that. Yeah, road, that makes any, sense. Any road rules you break. Yeah. <sighs> so, uh, have you been following with the Smash Bros. Contra like, thingy with Byleth? Or Bleth? I don't know how to pronounce it. Byleth? I've, yeah, yeah, people are very mad about it. Just because there's another Sword Boy. Another yeah, enemies. and it's, yeah. it's from Fire Emblem. And yeah, that and series yeah. in Smash Bros. has so much representation, but... The actual games themselves, like, they aren't too big. They aren't, like, the nice staples like Mario, yeah. Zelda. They're just, like, it's, they're kind of like Splatoon. Like, they're just a mini IP. Yeah. But people are all mad because there's too much representation. And also, yeah. all of the previous, um, all of the previous ones were, like, third party. So people thought, oh, cool, yeah. we're going to get another third party character. But instead, it was yeah. another Fire Emblem character, and so they were like, "Girl, people, yeah." People were. I don't know how I didn't guess it would Let's be see. three houses, because on the little trailer, like Whoop. before soccer, I did the presentation. What's he? He had like the number three on his hands, yeah. and people were thinking, "Okay, Dante is gonna be in Smash because Devil May Cry three, yeah. right?" Yeah. But. It was actually just Fire Emblem Three Houses. <laughs> it's just, I guess it's people like just being setting the expectations too high. Like it's kind of like overhyping something. Yeah, yeah. Like they're mad because their hype was higher than what was reality. Whereas if they didn't mm -hmm. overhype it, they probably would have been fine. I'm gonna get yeah. some fuel. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, per 
personally, I'm kind of disappointed too, but I kind of get what Nintendo's trying to do here, cause yeah. because they put it right at the end of the fighter pack, right? Yeah. The first fighter pack, and by then, most of the people have already bought the fighter pack. Yeah, yeah. So like, what are you gonna do now? Like, here yeah. you go, here's the character. Yeah, like disappointed and, at the character. And if they put Byleth at the start of the second fighter pack. The issue there would be is that like, ooh, like ooh, like no one wanted to buy less. Yeah. So who knows? What if the second fighter pack is bad? Yeah. So I think the first character, the second fighter pack, is gonna be someone crazy like Dante or Sora. Or yeah. I'm personally rooting for the two Microsoft uh, characters, uh, Master Chief and Steve. Nice. Master Chief would be cool. Master Chief for Smash. Yeah. He'd be like Snake, which I, I think would be a really cool idea. Yeah. That would be really neat. wonder how, how people what would react. Think? Yeah, I yeah. bet people would be like, yo, they'd be super hype if they saw it, just any third party, to be honest. Yeah. That's the thing, like, because Violet is first party, they were expecting another third party, and that didn't happen. Because I, I think the very, the very first one to come out was Joker, was it? Joker, yeah, that yeah. that like shocked people. And that was like hype as fuck. So people were like, so hyped from that. That when Byleth come out, they're like, oh, okay, I guess. Mm -hmm. So they just set their expectations too high for what was. Yeah. Bro, I got fined for speeding. Uh oh, that's no good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm crashing. <laughs> I can't keep an eye on my speed, I can't see, I can't even see my speedometer. Bruh. Bruh. It's cause he has a cop I car mean, there. At the end of the day, when it comes to like, the whole Nintendo thing, they're just there to make money, so I get them promoting Fire Emblem Three Houses. Yeah. So that, cause if they keep promoting third parties, they're actually just helping their competition. Yeah. Like I remember, in the Banjo presentation, they're like, Okay, this may sound weird, but if you want, you can buy Banjo and Kazooie for the Xbox One, yada yada yada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that. Well, Rare was Nintendo, wasn't it, at one point? Or yeah. Kind of like an offshoot of Nintendo, because they had like Conker's Bad for a day and the original like Banjo Kazooie. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly something happened, and then they were releasing their games on like Xbox, so they mm -hmm. ended up under like Microsoft. I think Rare ended up changing yeah. changing hands. I think uh, I haven't played any of the Banjo Kazooie games. I want to, but at the same time, I don't really want to because yeah. they're old games. I played a little bit of the first one on an emulator. That's about it. I didn't grow up oh, on yeah? Nintendo. I grew up on PlayStation. Mm. I played Crash I'm a Bandicoot big and Spyro. Fanboy. Nice. Like I, I played Mario Sunshine. Ooh, also big Sonic fan though. I think the very first Nintendo game I actually played was like Pokemon when I was like 16. Oh. Oh <laughs> Cause wow. Because my friend had a um, had a Game Boy Color. Mhm. Mm so he lent it to me with Pokemon uh, Pokemon Yellow. That's nice. And that was the first Nintendo game I played. It's Pokemon Yellow. Honestly. I don't really. I'm not really too much of a fan of RPGs. They're too like slow paced for me. Yeah. I like fast paced, like get in your face type of games. Yeah, I guess it's like um, Sword and Shield is a bit more like it's got a bit more pace to it. But they also stripped out a bunch mm -hmm. more. Like they made it super easy now. They kind of made it right. too easy. Like again, I haven't played it, but I've seen Let's Plays, and it looks like they've just stripped out a lot of the core game elements and just basically made it like a hand-holding experience like the, the yeah. battles are easier like if you've seen a pokemon once then the next time you battle one um it will show okay. if your moves are super effective or not and it's like wait that's like cheating it is yeah but that happens it's a thing that's that happens. unfortunate yeah, yeah that's, really, that's not good it's really dumb you should know you need to learn type advantages and stuff. That was part of the strategy, part of the game. But instead, yeah. instead, it's like if once you see the Pokemon once, then it will tell you if you have a type advantage or not. Is there like not even a way to disable it? I don't know. 
I just uh. I was just watching a bit of the Let's Play. I was like, oh, let's see what it's like. Because I played a tiny bit of it at PAX. Like, yeah. five minutes of it. So it wasn't really enough to gather much inside of the game. Mm -hmm. Like, I just did a couple battles and that was it. And, um... Yeah, and something else. Your rival gets the Pokemon that's weak against your type. Oh, bro, I keep getting speeding tickets. Oh, no. So your rival will get the one that's weak against you instead of strong yeah. against you like in the old games they'll pick the one that's good against your type so it's harder mm -hmm. when you battle them but in sword and shield your rival will get say you pick the fire they'll get the grass starter it's really that, dumb oh yeah that's, yeah i thought it, like at first i thought it was just like related to luck for the older games yeah. i'm pretty sure that's true it's a bit of like strategy to it yeah. You kind of have to think a bit more, but this one's just like, no. We literally hold your hand the whole way through. Mm -hmm. It's really dumb. There was something else as well that I saw that I thought was really stupid, but I didn't. I forgot what it was. It's just small little things that made the game much easier. Oh, it was the XP yeah. share. So all Pokemon get shared XP, no matter what. Wait, oh like my your, gosh. your lead Pokemon, the one that wins the, the fight. Whoop! I just cut a car off. <laughs> well, so your lead Pokemon, the one that wins the battle, will get mm -hmm. the most XP, but all the rest of them pretty much get exactly the same. Oh, there's been a collision. Oh boy. Hello. Uh oh. I was driving to orchestra this morning. Well, I was getting driven. I can't drive, but yeah. there were so many accidents on the road because right. up here in Canada, it's really snowy right now, oh, and yeah. like a bunch of snow just came down at once. So I think I saw like five collisions, not yeah. collisions, but like the yeah. aftermath of accidents, yeah. and it was horrible. Damn, that's kind of that kind of sucks. Yeah, because people. People don't know how to drive on snowy roads. Mm -hmm. And another thing, they're just not prepared for it, because, like, yeah. the climate can just be so unpredictable. Like, one day it's, like, pretty nice. One day it's, like, about maybe, I would say, 10 degrees Celsius, and then it goes to negative 10 degrees Celsius. So it's just, oh, a huge chumps. Yeah, just like in an instant, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. So you can suddenly come out of nowhere, but you should like if you've been if you've been living in Canada for such a long time, then you'll know. If you like there your whole life, then you'll know that yeah. it can be like that. So you'll know when it starts snowing, you want to like change your speed and not drive so fast or something, or just sort of be a bit more cautious of how you're driving. But it seems like people don't. Yeah. They just keep driving this, normal. It's all just like those different types of micro adjustments. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I arrived in Carlisle. Ooh, there's wanna... a few buildings up there. Yeah, I want to do a big, a big drive. I want to get like across the other side of Europe. Across Europe. Across Europe. That sounds crazy. That's what one of my next. I want to see where my next jobs take me. Wait, so you know about how Cuphead got a me fighter in Smash Bros. Oh yeah. And so did Sans. Yeah. What do you think of that? Because they're adding, like, smaller indie characters as yeah. Smash Bros. characters. I think that's fine. It's kind of fun. You can play as these. I, as these I like characters. the idea of it. Yeah. It's fun. Like, it's really fun to see, like, characters that you would never expect to be in Smash. Like, I, th I was saying, like, Sans could be a fighter as a joke, but I didn't really expect him to be in Smash. That was absolutely, like, yeah. a... Big and then they also dog. added uh, his theme song as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was great. It's same with Cuphead. Like now, I ca I kind of want to play Cuphead now because <laughs> I played a little bit of it. They're giving away like free marketing now. Pretty much. I played a bit That's of why Cuphead. So it's it's fun, but it's also really hard. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, they're giving it's it's a lot of marketing. That's why like 
I know some companies like really badly want the character in Smash now because of how much of a uh, money gain it will give you. Yeah. Also, like, I really hope they put some kind of Minecraft thing in it because it's the best-selling game. They gotta put some kind of representation of of it in the game. Yeah. Oh well, they do. They do what they do. You know. If they wanna. If that's how they wanna play it. Then they can add all these all these characters in. Some of them are cool. Like I like players. This Cuphead or Sans, that'd be kind of fun. Uh, yeah. Woohoo! Uh, Let's see if anyone has said anything in chat. Not, not yet. No. Chat's gone. You know who's still watching? Uh, no one. Uh, we've oh, got. No. We got. I'm not sure if they're if they're bots or not. Um, I mean, wouldn't there be me and you watching? So that's two. On my chat window, I see KDFM, Infamous Cat, Commander Root, which I know is a bot, and someone called Jaya Ballad. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, oh, that might be me because I'm not logged in. Maybe. Maybe like, they just choose like a random name for people who are not logged in yet. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to bar. I want to skin. I want to. Can I change the skin yet? <laughs> I want my what are you? Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. I want my Australia skin. I mean, how are things down in New Zealand? Like, anything mm. interesting happening in your life? Nothing like crazy interesting has been happening. I've just been working a lot. Um, mm. That's basically, basically it. The gist of it. Oh my gosh. Um, working lots. I was working way too much, so I had to like leave my crew on Jala just because I'm not helping much for like. Yonka Wars or anything. Oh no. Yeah. Like, I'm, what crew are you in? I don't know the crews. Uh, I, was, I know there's a Neon one, and that's it. That was Karoo's crew, but he passed the Karoo's torch down. Karoo's gone now. He's still around, he's just not as active. He passed the torch down to mm. uh, Lady Shadow Mage. I think that's her name. Not sure if you remember her. She's been around for a while. Oh, uh, I, I know, I know Shadow Mage. Yeah. Shadow Mage is good. So he passed off. I the probably would have given it to Shadow Mage too, to be honest. Yeah. I think was she an old bread or was she different? I think she was. Shadow Mage was bread. Shadow yeah. Mage was bread. And so a few people stuck to the same. Wolf passed his off to uh, Emode. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Emode's pretty. Emode's doing a good job. And then, Bannon, and then there's a group that's still there. Yeah, and Bannon who took over Krabs just before they changed the cruise. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then she's got the new one, which is a Spanish one. La oh, Muerte. she has a Spanish crew. Yeah, La Muerta Buccaneers. She's got. That actually sounds kind of fun. She's got a lot of the old Krabs, like um, like Droid, obviously, because you know. She's his wife. Yeah. Um, uh, she grabbed a few of the old um, Octos, like Squid oh, yeah? and Squid and Sad Booth are both in her crew. Oh yeah. And they're old Octos, and I think Dorito was no Dorito was bred. Mm. Yeah. All right, let's do a new job. Uh. Let's do a I... job. So yeah. So it's kind of, it's kind of how things are now. But I left. I was I'm in... gonna watch the stream through my phone. Nice. I was in Groot's crew, know. but I left just because I didn't have time for it. Mm. I want a really big yeah. job. For me, I just finished exams. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh. Well, I just finish my two like actual exams because uh uh whatchamacallit 
uh, Friday and uh, Thursday, I had my science and geography exam. Oh, yeah. And those two are like pretty like heavy subjects. Nice. Well, compared to the rest of my semester, because then Monday and Tuesday, I had my music exam. Nice. And like I played trombone outside of school a lot. So that's quite easy for me. And then business, like I'm pretty good at business stuff too. And business yeah. isn't too challenging anyways. Oh, that's good. So, yeah. And yeah. I also get five days off because of the semester switch. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah. yeah. That sounds kind of cool. You know, I've just been working way too much. Couldn't, couldn't do crews. Just because I'm not helping at all. I'm never there for the wars. And I'm never in the crew chat. So I was just like... F. So it's like, I'll just leave and just be, just be a, well, not a gray, because I'm a... Wait, um, are they, is, are they still greenies? No, the greenies is now a crew. That's, uh, Emood's crew. A greenies. Wait, what? Yeah, they're green. So now people who don't have a crew are gray. They're like a light gray. So I've... That's just straight up illegal. Well, they're the turtles, so that's why they're green. Oh, okay, okay. I thought he literally made his crew the Grand Fleet recruits. No, no, no. Made them the tubular turtle troopers. Is that mm. what what they're called? So that's why they're green. Honestly, I definitely would have just made a duck crew, cause like. <laughs> I did apply to yeah. do it. I was gonna be the cat, the cat crew. Oh, the cat crew would have been sick. But the the rule was to like not make it like obviously based off yourself. Yeah, based off you, yeah. Though I still reckon like cats is pretty pretty like wide. Like it's it's, it's a. I mean, I wouldn't complain with the cat crew, honestly. Yeah. Would have been like the cat pirates or something, or the courageous cats or something. Would have been would have been cool. Something felines, or maybe. Maybe. But it's right. Furious felines. Plus, the, you had to like put the chroma key of what color you wanted your crew, and I was just doing it as a joke, so I put black. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Could have been the black cat pirates. Oh wait, that's already a crew in One Piece. Wait, actually, I I'm not caught up with One Piece at all. Isn't that? I've stopped. I've I've given up. <laughs> ah, I have a mail. Isn't that? What what's the same crew is called? Uh, Who's Kudo? Crew? Kuro? Captain Kuro? Uh, the isn't guy his... who's like Wolverine? Isn't he? Isn't his like the black cat pirates or something? I know it's something to do with cats. Probably. Oh. I think it was something, something animal related. Yeah. I want to check. I want to see my mail. Ah no. Ah. Oh? Ah. I've got mail, but I don't know how to check it. Want it? Ah. Oh, cool. I'm like ever so slightly desynced from you because I'm watching the video through the stream. Right. Dang. Mail. But I'm screen sharing it to the chat. Yeah. No, I, my like monitor is set to Smash Bros. So. All right. So you can't. Yeah. But I'm watching like the stream on my phone. Oh, nice. If that makes sense. That makes sense. Alright. Time to drive to... Where are we going? Sheffield, I think. Let's go to Sheffield. I should have chosen a different place in Europe instead of England. I was like, I'll, I'll go England. I was going to pick Austria. Oh, yeah? Because it sounds like Australia. <laughs> oh. But then I was like, no, I'll go England. I'll go Liverpool. That will be my base of operations, and now it's just giving me jobs in England. Pretty soon, England's not even going to be in the EU. They're not going to be part of Europe. Wait, why? Because of the Brexit. What's that? You not heard of Brexit? No. So, like a few years back, it's like three, four years now. It's been ages. Basically, England was like. We don't want to be part of the European Union anymore. Let's leave. So uh -oh. they, they did Brexit. 
and they got a majority vote, even though people didn't actually understand what they were voting for. Oh, Apparently, no. like, after the votes, people were like, what's the EU? They, like, started googling what's EU. And it's like, why would you vote to leave the EU if you had no idea? Wait, how do you mess up that bad? Yeah, people didn't even know what they were voting for. They just voted, yes, let's leave the EU, and they didn't even realize what they were doing. Well, was it, like, fabricated, or are people just stupid? They're just dumb. That's unfortunate. Yeah, so for a while, it's been going on for ages, like, we're gonna eventually leave the EU, and they've, they've gone through, like, four different prime ministers in that time. Even though their elections are, like, every four years, I think, every three years, sorry. And yeah, I was like... super surprised to hear at first when I figured out that countries in the Europe, they mostly don't have borders, right? No, not really. Yeah, because, uh... Obviously, I'm they'll, just so... they'll have somewhere where you have to stop to, like, check your passport and that if you're, like, traveling through. Oh, yeah. But you could walk from one, one to the next. There's no big fences or anything. So you could legit yeah, just... like walk over a border is yes there's this one place that's like it's like three countries where three countries meet and there's like a little table you can sit at oh yeah yeah that sounds awesome so you can sit at like three countries all at once it's really neat that's crazy yeah so yeah they don't uh, have big borders like in the like in america like yeah i'm so used to like when I'm going to a different country, yeah. like you, you have to go through this huge border. Just like you're in your car waiting in line, and then yeah. they like interrogate you sometimes. And it's super scary. So if you're like crossing through to like United States or something, they'll yeah. You always have to go through this border security dude, and you'd be like, yeah, what are you carrying on you? Oh, yeah, you got yeah. any tobacco? Any and drugs? All, all that. To check you for drugs because marijuana is legal in Canada. <laughs> yeah. So they're like, are you carrying marijuana? Because mm. a lot of people just smuggle it through. Yeah. yeah. I heard that was like actually a pretty big business. Like, they would have like actual jets. This is like super illegal. Yeah. Like, fly over to places in the USA. Canada, USA, and then they would just sell all that stuff. Yep, it happens. It's probably a lot easier to get drugs through from Canada than it is from, like, Mexico in South America. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because I'm pretty sure, like, Canada, USA, they're much more of allies. Yeah, so. they're a bit more friendly. Whereas, you know, USA and South America, they're not very friendly with each other. Like, they're not going to can go f go to war or anything but they don't like each other unless like Donald Trump does something stupid which he probably would <laughs> he decides screw it let's go attack Mexico just for the hell of it he probably would he's an idiot I, mean, I don't <laughs> really have a problem with Justin Trudeau the Canadian Prime Minister but oh, yeah. The, yeah he's fine yeah he's quite unassuming like he doesn't you don't see much of him. He hasn't done anything crazy. Yeah, he hasn't done like just much like like oh my gosh, like I can't believe Canada's doing that. Yeah. It's a little bit like our Prime Minister. Like she hasn't done much, she hasn't done anything crazy. But it's also the thing as well, she hasn't done much. <laughs> yeah. So people are like, what have you even that done the whole time you've been in office? Nothing really. That's like, just, that's one reason why a lot of people get voted off, I think. Mm, they just don't do anything in their time, or like, not much that that's of worth. No, I think that they're increasing the minimum wage again this year. Oh, okay, so, then that's, that's actually very good. Yeah. Minimum wage... Minimum wage has I, I been think it's, slowly crawling in New Zealand. It's been slowly crawling up upwards every year. That's good, that's good. So like, even a couple of years ago, like, three maybe four years ago when I got my first ever proper full-time job because I was in university for like six years so I got yeah. my first full-time job when I was like 25 so when I got my first yeah. full-time job I think minimum wage was at $15.50 which is quite low for the cost of living 
and now it's nearly I think it's at about it's going to be going up to like $18 so that's quite a big increase it's I like, mean you also have to take into consideration inflation because yeah the, the money value would drop over time I think so a little bit well, it's very expensive to live here in New Zealand just because of I guess because we're so isolated away from everything so things are a lot yeah. more expensive to buy food and like anything like that is way more expensive even though we do have a, a good like agricultural like we have a lot of good agriculture but most of our good stuff gets sold elsewhere right. so we export a lot of our good meats so what we have left for ourselves is the really shit stuff Oof. so like imports imports exports are sort of our main thing that gets our money but things are still really expensive here just because it's a Pacific country. It happens with a lot of the island countries too. Like a lot of Pacific island countries are quite expensive to live just because they're so isolated. It's more expensive to get things over here than it is, say, in the US or in Europe where you can literally drive drive things across country. I'm literally playing a game right now that is driving across Europe to deliver things. You could, you could just drive something but you can't drive something from Australia say to New Zealand you have to fly it over and that costs more money yeah yeah so the cost of living is a lot higher because things are a lot harder to bring into the country just because mm -hmm. of how isolated we are so we have to have a higher wage to sort of make up for it like I think yeah living wage in New Zealand is $20 to like be able to live comfortably $20, $20 an hour yeah okay I'm on, that's pretty good. I'm on 22. Or, well, I, I don't know what's pretty good, actually. <laughs> no, that's, that's not too bad, considering minimum wage is just, just below $18. Yeah. Yeah, so... You can live off minimum wage. You can survive. Not, like, super comfortable, like... But, like, survive isn't, like, something to strive for. <laughs> yeah. You can survive off, eight, off of $18. Like, you're kind of pushing mm -hmm. it, though. I'm just refueling. Refuel. What you call it? One thing I figured out, and like after going into high school, is how much I actually like certain subjects over other ones. Cause when you have all your subjects like with one teacher, it more so becomes like whether you like the teacher or not. Oh, but yeah. when the subjects are all a different teacher, it's more so whether you actually like the subject or not. Like yeah, I was kind of like that in high school as well. I did have a really good. When you... Though, yeah, oh. it also depends on um, if you like the subject too. Because when I was in high school, I had a really good science teacher, but I wasn't interested in science. Mm -hmm. Like I was pretty decent at it. Like I was getting good good marks on like my chemistry stuff, and my teacher was like, "Hey, would you consider doing chemistry next year, like properly?" And I was like, "Nah, not really my thing." And he's wow. like, "Oh, okay." It's like you're pretty good at it, and I'm like, yeah, but it's not, it's not really interesting to me. So I could have. I don't know. I'm, I'm like a big science guy, but my science teacher, I just, he just makes science super boring. Like, you know how science is supposed to be all fun with like experiments and stuff. Like, yeah. and yeah, we did experiments, but it wasn't really more so that. It's just how he teach the information, cause yeah. he was just kind of like, yeah. oh yeah, here's a slideshow. Uh, Okay, study for the next test. Yeah, but you see there's like know. videos of like the teachers who like blow up balloons filled with ga different gases and they'll be like cool different yeah. flames. They'll be like green flames and blue flames and stuff like that. I know. I don't know why I thought it would be like that because I would assume that's more stuff you would expect to see in uh, university or college. Yeah, but to get to that point you gotta sort of interest people so if you show them those cool crazy experiments and they'll be more likely to want to carry on I know and it's, it's really sad to kind of see like mm. like even I I'm just kind of like oh, I don't know if I really want to yeah. keep like studying science stuff because it's just not really that interesting to you oh yeah if anyone hears this that's just the sound of my GameCube controller. Oh shit, I was speeding. <laughs> I didn't even realize. No. 
No. You've broken the law. So many times. Crash into police cars, speeding lots, crashing into things. Just full on public endangerment. It should make. The control should be like the mouse should be the turning. Kind of like in like FPS mouse games and stuff. Turning? Yeah. The keys are like WASD, so um, A and S are to turn the steering wheel. But it should be like yeah. it should be like look turning, like like in shooting games and stuff. Like if I move the oh, mouse, yeah. if yeah. I move the mouse, then I should turn that direction. I mean, what is the control scheme like for the game? It's the mouse is just to look around, so I can like look out the windows and stuff. Whoops. Um. And the oh, so the mouse actually moves like your actual body's neck. Yeah. Just my, it's okay. just my looking, where's like to, to turn the steering wheels. What the? F I wasn't even speeding. Look at that truck up ahead. He's going way faster. Damn. Screw you, cops. Fuck you, cops. Yeah. So it's <gasps> it's A A and D are my two steering. A and D. Yeah. Okay, so it's just like W A S and D. Yeah. And then what is? I'm assuming accelerate and reverse is W and S. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Shoot. I'm in the wrong lane. That's that's kind of a whack way to set it up. Yeah, it's kind of weird, eh? But I guess it would kind of make sense because that sounds really realistic. Like, because if you were able to mouse steer the truck, you'd be able to make super Screw sharp it. turns. I'm coming across the lane. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> cat's going insane. Uh. Alright, I'll just do another play it safe. What I've been doing as of late is I've actually been getting involved in like my local area's Smash community. Wow. Like, yeah, I don't know. I'm s Smash Bros. is just so much fun. I don't know how I've gotten so into it. Nice. Yeah, I, I would play it if I had a Switch. Mm hmm. Yeah. That would be a lot of fun. Um, but I don't have a Switch. I've been trying to win one, so at my arcade, my local gaming arcade, you can win oh, a Switch. Oh, is it like a claw machine? No, no. It's, um, you can get enough tokens, you can buy one. It's like over... Oh. Something... It's oh, somewhere... okay, I get yeah. it, I get it. Yeah, so it's somewhere over 10,000, and I currently have 14,000 tokens. But it, it hasn't been in store for ages, because... Apparently they said like they restock once a week, but not, they don't, like, the stock gets dis distributed between all of the arcades. So they may oh. or may not get that one. So they've got a PS4, but that's 36,000 tokens. Mm -hmm. So like I'm not even halfway to getting a PS4. But I haven't seen the Switch. Wait, yet. how is the PS4 so much more than the Switch? Because this, damn it. That doesn't make sense. I, well, I mean, that's probably why it's always out of stock then. Maybe. But once it comes back, then I'll be able to see how much they're actually selling out for, because it's been like months since I've seen it in store. So I could be yeah. wrong about the price, but... Though I did win a claw machine last week. I won a little... Oh yeah? I won a little chopper plush. Oh, that's awesome. Was it a One Piece one? Yeah. A little, little chopper that's great. plush doll. I've got a picture of it on my phone. I'll send it to send it to the chat. Uh, let me just find it. Yeah, I'll check it out like right after this match. Oh, good. Uh, what should I call it? While I was on vacation with my family, we were we went on this huge cruise ship. It was so much fun, but that's besides the point. There was this one arcade in the cruise ship that had a claw machine, right? Yeah. And it was one dollar per play, and basically it was super fun because there was this claw machine that gave out ducks. And oh wow! Oh, is that yeah, where you got and... all those ducks from? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, and nice. what happens is, no matter what, you basically want a duck. So I really like that kind of thing because I didn't feel like a loser. So. Nice. 
That's really cool. It was super fun though, because I was able to get a bunch of duckies. When so many ducks. I know. Claw machine. It was That's great. really cool. I've won a few claw machines in my lifetime. The first one I won when I was like, God, how old? I was really young, and we were waiting. We we're waiting for our dinner. We we're at a fish and chip shop, getting mm -hmm. fish and chips, and there was a claw machine there. And I won like a, it was like some toy pigs. It was like a, a, yeah. ma a man and a woman pig. Mm -hmm. And I won them. And I was real happy. I was really and young. claw so. machines, they're, they're too rigged. Like, I think it's maybe one in every 25 that wins. Something like that. Something really like high. It, it really, it varies from machine to machine. Yeah. From machine to machine. Cause I'm pretty sure you can just set it to whatever you want. Yeah, they can, yeah. So you'll see, like, you'll pick it up perfectly and then it'll just drop it. I know. Mm -hmm. It's really dumb. Alright, what's it? where's our next job? I wanna do a really big job. Where's Rotterdam? Oh, yes! We're going to the Netherlands, let's go! Hell yeah. So yeah, it's, uh, another time I won a little Pikachu plush for my friend. Oh yeah? Yeah. Here, That's really I'll neat. go take a look at the plush, because I'm actually kind of curious to see what it looks like. So, so Chopper. It's, it's like a time skip Chopper. Oh, that's nice. I yeah. like that. Yeah, I won him. And that yeah, little thing cool. in the background, I also played a little round of Space Invaders. Whoops, I crashed. Hmm. Oh, the game? Oh, yeah. Okay, I was like, oh no. Wait, the game crashed? No, no, I crashed my truck. I'm crashing. Oh. I was like, oh no. No, no. I just keep crashing my truck into things. I turned the wrong way so, and I'm, now I'm did stuck. Did that One Piece claw machine, did it have like other One Piece characters? Nah, it's just Chopper. Oh, so... Yeah, so okay. I, ah. I've seen claw machines like that where it's just all of one character. Yeah. So it's all chopper plushies. Oh. I come up with like the most cursed head cannons when I see those things. Because I'm like, oh my gosh, like this species of stuffed animals going extinct because they've got them all trapped in this cage. I so gotta sad. play the claw machine to like save them. It's I like basically guilt trip myself into yeah. playing on claw machines <laughs> it's sort of like um toy story the little aliens yeah yeah the claw well i'm gonna say something very illegal but i've never watched any of the toy stories oh my gosh they're like a staple i know it was almost like it's like how i haven't watched any of the original disney films yeah I remember I everyone in GLR was like, okay, you have to watch the Disney films. I'm like, no. No. Yes, go watch. Oh, now you're on chat. Now you're on stream. I can see you in the chat. Huh? I can see your username in the ch in the chat window now. What is it? It says Banana Road Soggy King. Oh, that's probably because I switched to mobile. Oh, yeah. It's only just... On mobile... On mobile, I'm actually logged in. That's odd. It just popped up. Yeah. I've been on mobile for quite a while now. Yeah. The Jaya Ballad is still there. So maybe it is a bot. Yeah. I'm stuck. Or maybe it's still my PC account. Maybe. If it's still watching. Yeah. Maybe. It could, yeah, it could just randomly assign, like, random usernames. If you're not logged in or something. Mm -hmm. That would be the most logical thing to do. Yeah. I thought there were bots. I mean, what bots would be watching your stream? I don't know. I was told that there were bots. Someone's like, oh yeah, those are bots. But I don't know why there'd be random view bots. Look out, car! Bro, I was turning. You know what's funny is that I was teaching my friend how to drive today. I was taking her on some driving lessons. Oh shit, off-roading! Oh, yeah? And I was telling her, like, 
or something like, yeah, you're doing good, you just need some improvement in these certain things. And here I am, driving a fake truck, crashing into everything. <laughs> just making a complete... Oh, that's, making, that's crazy. Making a complete mess of things. <laughs> After I was teaching my friend how to drive today. But this is way, way very different from driving a car. <laughs> this is so hard. First off, I'm driving a truck, which are already way harder to drive than cars. Because they're big, mm -hmm. and they're long, and they're really hard to turn. And secondly, I'm using a keyboard. You can get yeah. a steering wheel for this game. Yeah, there's a lot of driving games that use steering wheels nowadays. Yeah. And I don't know how fun that actually is, but it's interesting. Yeah. So you can get some like peripherals. So they do they do have um there is set up for using um steering wheel because it was like choose your choose your controls and it was like keyboard mouse steering wheel. And I was like I'm obviously yeah. not using a steering wheel, so keyboard and mouse. I'm in a different truck. Keyboard from mouse now. actual car. <laughs> yeah. Using an actual vehicle to control a video game. <laughs> Imagine like oh. Imagine like being able to plug a keyboard into like your car and then <laughs> steer it with the keyboard. Oh. Yo, let's, let's play a Pac-Man but with a car. Waka 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 waka. Oh my gosh, that's and curious. I got a viewer okay. called another viewer. Another TV viewer, sorry. Hello, another TV viewer. If you are a real viewer, say hello. Hello. How is it going? I don't know who you are, or if you come from one of the Discord servers, but um, or if you just randomly found us on Twitch. Whichever the case. We're glad you're here, though. We're glad to see you here. Yeah. We're glad that people be watching. Cause it's a very slow chat today. I could be doing story time, but also I have to stop playing to do that. What is story time? When I read like a um, like a story from uh, what's it called it's from Reddit, so I'll find like a funny story on Reddit and I'll read it out. Oh, so okay, I know what those are. Yeah, so me and Chloe be doing it story time so like if I'm playing the game she'll read a story and if she's playing the game I'll I could find story. a story and read one actually if you want yeah F I'll do it after this match find a funny reddit story read it out so I've just gone past the hour mark now I've all the youtubers like really popularized reddits like uh, yeah, reddit. yeah I've seen a lot of like reddit stories on YouTube It'll just be like either people reading them out or it'll be like a robot voice. Like, I, see one I on... think they, sh they should at least try to be interesting, like with how PewDiePie or Davey does it. Yeah. But they have their own like subreddits that people post to. Some of the ones that I've seen are like people will just find a subreddit and read stuff from it. Like, there's this one, oh. this one channel that just reads like r slash entitled parent stories. Oh yeah, I've seen that channel. Yeah. Can't remember what they're called now. There's another one called... Uh, I can't remember what it's called now. Wait, you know... Okay, have you seen Davey's new videos where he read hate comments? Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> oh, that made me so sad. He looked like he was so sad. I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh. I was like... This is so sad. Uh, Davey will say, epic next and he's like I will not say that checkmate and then the next one's like Debbie will say checkmate while trying to avoid saying epic <laughs> and he's like <laughs> epic honestly checkmate Davy 504 he he like reminds me of oof master a lot Whoa. I almost missed my turn I guess a little bit he says epic and like oof and like that's what oof master says if you hear Oofmaster's voice too, he sounds exactly like him. Except oh, really? a little bit more higher pitched. 
I've never actually heard his voice. Mm. He, he rarely some... talks in chat, so... Mm. He does say some pretty random things, though. That's true. Yeah. He's really just a troll, to be honest. Yeah, a little bit. He's gone okay, back let's... to being crewless as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's alright. I don't know. I feel kind of bad, because he, he was just... He just kind of followed after me. Yeah. For a lot of these things. Okay. Let's go find a good subreddit to, to read from. He did frustrate a few of the um, other users as well. Like Cages and Jet. What is it? Of Master. Oh, yeah. He did annoy a few of the others as well. He did annoy a lot of people, but like. I was able to keep him in check a lot of the time. Yeah, you were like, hey, stop that. None of that. Shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> no. None of that. Shame on you. But, like, wasn't he also, like, bullied by a lot of the, like, Octos? Maybe? I don't know. I don't, I don't really want to get into that kind of stuff right now. The GLR oh, server drama. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was involved in too much drama. I usually kept out of it mostly, except for if I was saying stupid things. Mm. Yeah. I think I, like, not on purpose, but I think I got um, Kuma banned. <laughs> Kuma? How? Because uh, he was saying, like, suggestive things, and I was. I said something else, uh. kind of suggestive. And then I was like, nah, I'm just joking. But he sort of carried it on. Oh and that no. got him banned, yeah. Because he, he would say sort of things like that. But I think I low-key encouraged him. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, nah, I'm just joking. Like, I was just messing around. Damn. But he sort of went a bit far. And I got him banned. And then Droid sort of showed me. He's like, hey, man, I know you're usually good. You're usually... Like a good dude, you try to keep out of trouble, but the last few times you've been kind of doing some stuff that made a few people annoyed and we ended up banning Kuma because of this reason that you were kind of involved in. I was yeah. like, whoops, I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's like I was just joking Honestly, around. When it was me, Art John, Wolf, and Go Getta, it was pretty good. Yeah, the ABCD. And Groot, and Groot. Good times. Ah! Okay, well, I'm gonna read out some shower thoughts because I think this is gonna be kind of interesting. Nice. Okay, so. Shower thoughts are good. Okay, I don't, I don't know too much about Star Wars, so I'm not gonna read that one. Okay, let's find something. If someone says something nice about you, you'll think about it for a week. If someone says something bad about you, you'll think about it forever. Hmm, that's very true. <laughs> that's kind of true, but like, I've also remembered a lot of nice things people have said to me, so yeah. I don't really think that applies too well. Yeah, a lot more people are more inclined to think, to remember the negative stuff over the positive stuff. Mm -hmm. Your brain is a high capacity iPod full of corrupt song files. <laughs> With a terrible repeat and shuffle setting. Oh, okay. Man. Yeah. That's Mate. one way to put it. That is, yeah. I have that problem. Oh, like just random songs were just. A ah! Crashed. Random songs would just start playing in my head. <laughs> Whoops. I caused an accident. Again. Okay, let's see what else. Move it. 99.99% .99 of the world's population has never set foot in your house. It's not that interesting. Crazy. Let's go top of all time. Yes, those are usually good. Nice. When you're a kid, you don't realize you're also watching your mom and dad grow up. Huh. Oh, hold up. Oh. I guess you are. You sort of always uh, see them as, like, just the adults, you know? Yeah, but, like, 
But they also. I don't know. Most people. I'm kind of. Yeah. I'm kind of seeing myself like get taller than them, and them staying the same height, and it gets like super weird. Because they're already I'm... fully grown adults. Mhm. Mm like most people, when they have kids, at between the ages of like 18 to 30. Yeah. So I still... feel that I'm gonna be like a really tall person because I'm already taller than my parents and almost taller than my brother. Damn. How tall are you now? Yeah. Uh, how tall am I? I don't know. I don't know my height, but uh, I'm pretty tall. Nice. I'm a uh, 191 centimeters, which is like six foot three. Oh. Yeah. That's how tall I am. I'm quite tall. I'm the tallest in my family at the moment, but my cousin, who's like, I think he's 17, he's nearly as tall as I am, so he's going to be taller soon. Yeah. But I've been the tallest in my family since I was like 16. So I've held on to the, the title of being tallest in the family for over 10 years now. So I guess it's oh, time. Wow. To, I guess it's time to pass the torch, as sad as it is. <laughs> That's great. I was used to being the tallest, but now, no. Ah! Okay, next one. It would be cool if after you died, you could see the top five times you almost died. Huh. That'd be kind of fun. Um, and number five, the time <laughs> And I... the kill cam. That's not what one of the comments said. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> Kill oh. I mean, what's the closest near death thingy you've been uh, in? A few of them. One time I like was about to hop in the shower and almost slipped and hit my head on the um on the sink. Oh goodness. I was stepping into the bath and I slipped when I was stepping into the bath. And my foot slipped on the water. That was pretty freaky. Um, I think for me, it'd probably just be sicknesses to be honest. Oh, yeah. Which is kind of anticlimactic. Uh, what the hell? Oh, I have to go on the ferry. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. Let's go on the boat. Okay, a lot of these are like sexual, which I don't really like. Sad. So, yeah. don't read sexual go ones. Look. Wholesome shower thoughts. Woohoo! Uh. Reddit stories. No, I don't want to embark. There are a lot of sexual stories as well, which are kind of like yeah. yeah. So I don't like going on Reddit. Yeah, Reddit's kind of weird. I enjoy it for the memes, but that's about it. And like, I'll get I'll get a few story times as well for uh, podcasts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Otherwise, it's full of drug related or sexual related stuff yeah there's some good gems out there Whee. all right I'm in the Netherlands oh. best employee horror story okay let's do tales from tech support Oh, that sounds fun. Okay, right. let's just go to top of all time. This is a simple one, but I can't get it out of my head. Yeah. I work in a store that offers technical support for consumer level technology. A few days ago, I had an elderly gentleman that will call Pete, our recept, uh, that will call Pete. Our receptionist made him a walk-in appointment earlier that day, and I ended up taking it. When I opened it all up, the only notes I saw there were from third-party so third-party software, hard of hearing. I walked up to Pete and greeted him. 
saw that he was staring at my lips as as to read them then i asked him if he knew uh american sign language i've been trying to learn asl it's a type which is american sign language it was it as sort of a side hobby for a few months now pete signs yes and we continue conversation in sign turns out the issue with skype Turns out the issue is with Skype, which keeps crashing on his roughly five-year-old tablet, and he's been having difficulties video calling his wife, who is deaf. Yeah. She lives. So okay, so I'm I'm just taking a little pause here so we can talk about it. So. So maybe she's not. I feel like maybe she's not hearing it. Keep reading. Yeah. She lives in a different continent. She traveled there for a temporary work opportunity and would be there for two years. This would be a midway point. It's now one year since Pete has seen his wife. Skype is the only way they both knew how to communicate efficiently long distance as ne neither are comfortable with email or other text-based services. As I go, okay, well, this already is a, like a recipe for disaster because yeah. If the only way you keep in touch with someone is Skype, yeah, that's just one thing. You're kind of gonna mess yourself up. But and you're um, both deaf. yeah, let me go on. As I go through verifying that she knows that he knows his password, and making sure there's a backup of his device, Pete and I are signing back and forth, and his face was completely lit up. I felt so good to be able to, to be able. To to albeit slowly speak with him in his language and give him the time he deserved even if his reason for visiting us had to do had to do with our our physical product little to do with our physical product once everything was verified and backed up i uninstalled skype and reinstalled it had pete sign in and use skype's test call to ensure it wouldn't crash as it would immediately upon call creation for yada 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 test call went through fine sweet <clears throat> i looked down to write a few extra notes and began to hear some coughs i looked there uh, there was pete crying while I was while waving to his wife through Skype. Pete called her and she picked up. He introduced me to her and it'd be three weeks since they'd hurt each other. I stepped away to give them a moment alone. It's moments like these that keep me going as a technician, even though I barely touched Pete's <laughs> tablet. Fixing it made me feel like a hero. It's been a few days and I can still see his smile. Just thought I'd share this thanks for read reading. Uh, it's really wholesome. That's a good story. I like that yeah. one. I thought it was being like, I thought it was going to be like he's trying to call her, but she's just not hearing it because she's deaf. I thought it was going to be know. something like that. I was like, maybe she's just not hearing the call. Maybe he thinks it's broken. Mm -hmm. That was just a good wholesome story. Why can't I get my Australian truck? Why? Why? I just want to be an Aussie trucker, mate. Alright. Um, I think yeah. this is a good point to announce the peoples who entered the competition. So, yeah. I might. I'll do. I'll read them out. So, we got Chloe. We got. Ooh. We got Effie. Efredos. Ah. We got Baguette. Nerdy Baguette. Uh, we got you entered. Ah, oh, that's me, that's me. That's you, banana. We got taco. <laughs> we got Groot. And we got Laura. So I will find a random number generator and then I can, like, I can say who won what game. Alright. All right. Wait, what is the game selection? So the games are, the 16 games. So the games are called Armello. Mm -hmm. Hand of Fate, mm -hmm. Crawl, mm -hmm. Regular Human Basketball, which mm -hmm. looks kind of funny. You play as like robots, it's like dressed up as humans. It's really funny. Yeah. Satellite Rain, mm -hmm. Hacknet, uh -huh. Primal Carnage, uh -huh. 
Uh-huh. Frog Detective. Mm-hmm. Frame Detective. Mm-hmm. Tower of Guns. Yep. Rising Dusk. Mm-hmm. Paperbark. Quest yep. of the Dungeons. Mm-hmm. The Stillness of the Wind. The Gardens mm-hmm. Between. Paper Fire mm-hmm. Rookie. Yeah. So those are 16 games. So I will go through each person, starting from the top with Chloe, and I'll do a random number generator. I've got one here. Minimum number 1, maximum number 16. Let's generate. <laughs> Chloe got number 12. So Chloe wins. Paper Bark. So I'll put her name next to it. Chloe, so I can do it later so I know who won which. Alright. Next up, Effie. He, number two. So Ooh. Effie wins. Hand of Fate. Very Hooray. Cool. Um, next we have Baguette with number nine. So she wins. Famed Detective. Nice. Ooh. Woohoo. Next up, you, Banana. Oh, that's me, that's me. You get number one, Armello. Yeah! Banana. Thank you. Woohoo! <coughs> Free games. Alright, next is Taco. Taco gets. Yeah. Number 10, Tower of Guns. After Taco is Groot. Groot gets. Oh, number one's already been given away. Number 13, which is. Ooh. Quest of the Dungeons. A few of them yeah. are like. A few of them are like. Um, What's well, like fantasy games? That's why I was like, I'll give those away. So I think that's mm. one of the fantasy games. I'm, I'm pretty sure Groot's into fantasy games. He does play D and D, so I assume. And lastly, Loro. She gets. I think I've given that one away. Damn. All right, let's try again. Thirteen. I just gave that one away. Seven. Did I give seven? No. She gets Primal Carnage. Hooray! Oh <laughs> yeah. So I still have. Eight more games to give away. I've got Crawl, Regular Human Basketball, Satellite Rain, Hacknet, Frog Detective, Rising Dusk, The Gardens Between, Paper Fire Rookie. So I will do another thing. I'll do another announcement after the thing for another lot of games to give away. So I'll, I'll do the announcement first and just tell people to DM me. Their, yeah. Um, DM me their, their Steam users so I can add them and I can send them the game the game key mm-hmm. and they can have it mm-hmm. so yeah that's the giveaway congratulations yep. everyone who entered you all got a free game thank you cat it's all right it was kind of cool doing that plus it gave people incentive to want to watch or at least to want to participate in entering mm-hmm. yeah all right we will i could um, help you guys with like promoting cat if um I'm gonna try doing that. If you want. So we've been going for about an hour and a half. So I think that's a good time to sort mm-hmm. of wind it down now. So yes. I will just get yep. out of the gaming window and back to my live stream window. Nice. Mm-hmm. Right. Back to the home screen. So that was Euro Truck Simulator. That was kind of fun it was a little a little hard to control the truck kind of really hard to control the truck sometimes mm-hmm. get crashing which made for a bit more interesting gameplay than just <laughs> driving in a straight line the whole time keep getting yeah. stuck getting my truck stuck didn't realize I could just stop over the green light I thought I had to actually park it that's mm-hmm. why but you can just be like no I stop now it's delivered. So yeah. that's kind of neat. I well, said, thank you for having me on the show. It was fun. That's all right. It was funny when you are on here. And yep. Next week will probably be 
business as usual. Chloe should be feeling yeah. better. So she'll she'll come back. I'll get her to play the next game. Oh, we were gonna try play Halo. Halo Reach. So we oh, might... I don't know how the theme goes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I want to learn how to play it on my trombone one day. Oh, I could try learning it on my bass. Do, 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 do. <laughs> we could do a trombone bass duet. That would I be could, funny. I could learn that. Da, 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 da. Um, uh, I don't know how it goes. I don't know how it man. goes. I honestly would play my trombone right now, but I don't want to wake up the family. No. That would be bad. Don't wake my up trombone, the I play my trombone super loud. It's like, You're like bah, 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 bah. That's what I like about trombone. It's, it's loud and it's precise. Nice. I guess that's one way to put it. But it's also not precise because... Well, you have to be precise when playing the trombone, because you have to know exactly where those notes are. Yeah. Because you have that entire slide. You can basically play infinite notes. Got the whole slide. Plus, it's uh -huh. something to do with like how you blow as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. you have to yeah. keep... The thing that makes trombone so interesting is that you're not just pressing buttons. You're just... You're moving the slide. Yeah. Where it's like I know, think... a trumpet is you're push pushing the keys. Yeah, like, if you don't like pushing buttons, you could just get a valve trombone or a euphonium, oh, that's which is basically... I've also been trying to learn how to play keyboard. Oh, nice. I should... I have my keyboard right here. I want to... I'm, I'm getting off track, but yeah. Sounds Undertale. Should learn <laughs> Jono's theme. Da, 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 da. That's my goal. Da, 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 da. Have you seen? There's like a YouTube. Um, it's a YouTube channel yeah. called Sheet Music Boss. Doesn't he like go around and like? Oh no, that's, make people. That's a guy, but there's this. This. Have you heard of um, a program called Synthesia? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Like, where the piano keys, like, come down and, like, yeah. it's super easy to play. Yeah. So there's this yeah, one... Yeah, that? There's this one YouTube channel that uses those. And they do... Mm -hmm. They've got Jono's theme. They've got uh, Kidda's theme. I mean, I don't really find those to be too helpful. Oh, uh, really? I've tried playing along with one of them, and I just got completely lost. So they do have the sheet music as well, if that helps. Yeah. I want to learn how to read sheet music on piano anyways, because I also want to learn how to play a trumpet, so I guess learning piano would help, because piano you read both bass clef and treble clef, so yeah. well, it's the best of both worlds. I'll send you a link anyway to the video, to Jono's theme, and there is, in their description, they've got links to um, the sheet mm -hmm. music, the actual like sheet sheet music, but you can also like listen to it and see how it goes. So I'll send that to you and chat. Bum, Check bum, that bum, out. Bum, 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 bum. Let's watch this. But yeah, in the, in the little description box, there's a link to the actual sheet music. Oh yeah, can, there is. Yeah. Uh, you have to buy it though. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. It's $7.99. That's a lot of money, actually. Usually, sheet music only costs two bucks. It could be like New Zealand. Uh, could be like seven ninety nine New Zealand dollars. No, I just checked. It is seven ninety nine. Uh, so it must be USD, which will make that like about ten dollars New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Probably more expensive. Probably like fourteen dollars actually. <laughs> Do 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 do
But yeah, no, there is that also that piano guy. I can't remember his name now. Mm. But he'll play like random stuff on the street. He'd be like, yeah, that guy. Yeah, he'd be like playing meme songs on the street. Can't remember his name though. Oh, there's a Megalovania Mikl piano tutorial. We are number one piano tutorial. Can we learn how to play Bloody Stream? Nice. I want to play that one Mario RPG song. It goes, ba ba da bum 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 ba da bum. It's called Forest Maze. Nice. Have you heard that one before? Uh, is it? Is it Breath of the Wild? Not this sure. song. Not sure. I have. I'll have to listen to it after I'm off stream. Yeah. Because then it it will pick up on the streamcast. Um, we'll just oh, yeah. st we'll just stop here and yeah, can listen to and whatever. Yeah. So that will be the show today. We've done about we've done over an hour and a half, I think. One hour thirty nine minutes. So that's thank, pretty good. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, if you're watching this on the YouTube afterwards, then hit like and subscribe. That would be really great. And go slap watch. Like slap like now, and subscribe. And if we reach 200 subscribers, I will, um, I don't know, I'll eat... You'll come to my house and you'll give me a high five. Nice. I will eat some <laughs> cheese. And... Okay, that's even more crazy. Yeah, I'll eat some cheese if we reach 200 subscribers. So, slap like now and subscribe and I will eat some cheese. Um, Damn. So, therapy time. <laughs> speak and I will nice that is not good not epic that is so sad oh that is oh, 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 this therapy is going fast this is actually very good yes I agree do it again tomorrow and you will feel better yes mm -hmm, I agree that is good yes I've talking. actually <laughs> tried talking to Davy's therapy time. It was super funny. It's, I've seen some funny ones online. People are like, oh, my wife divorced me. And he's like, that's very good. That's epic. <laughs> I was like, oh, my. I was like, oh, Davy, I want to commit suicide. And he's like, do it now and you will feel better. <laughs> 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 so there's some funny like responses to that. Okay, thanks everyone for coming by. Thanks, Banana, for being a guest. Yep. And we'll see thanks you all me. same time, maybe earlier next week. Actually, probably earlier next week because of, I've, I've got to take my friend driving again. But they finish late work. They finish work later than usual, so I'll probably do an earlier podcast. But join us for some Halo Reach. Oh, yeah. All right, this is Kat signing off. Thank you very much.